Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 3 of the Crochet Along Peacock Tail Bag designed by Tatiana from Lillebjorn Crochet. For this video I'll be using linen soft yarn which is in the kit as well as a 3mm crochet hook. Slightly larger hook than in the pattern but that's because I don't have the 2.75mm hook that's described in the pattern. In this video I'll show you how to do the front side of the bag. In a separate video I'll show you how to do the back side. I'll take you through the rounds making up part 3. It's basically this part of the bag. I'll take you step by step through these rounds. And thank you for watching and I hope it's a useful video. When you've completed the front and the back of the bag, just check again for gauge. They should be about the same size, your two pieces, and the width at its widest point should be about 25 centimeters. That's 10 inches. So double check that that is still correct, and it's just to make sure that you have enough yarn in your kit. Round 14, again a new color yarn on my hook going to start in this second stitch, so not the first but the second half double with a standing half double crochet and again take the thread with you from the previous round so a standing half double and also in the next stitch also do a standing half double Oh, sorry, it's just a half double crochet. So those two are the start, and now we're going to begin with our repeat unit. Do a half double in three stitches one, two, three half doubles. And now we're going to do a front post treble four together again around this post here. At least the first one is a front post. That first leg, you don't complete that leg. Like so. Now you do the other two legs in the space at the bottom of that stitch. So you've done this before. Just get into it. There we go. And two times off. So those are the two legs. This is leg number three. And then leg number four. And two. You've got five loops on your hook. Take them all off. That's your treble four together made. Important, you're going to continue on the next stitch here to the back. You're not skipping any stitches. So immediately on the next stitch, do a half double. And also the stitch after. Like so. So now I've worked a treble cluster and two half doubles. At this point you've reached the chain four space. You're going to skip the chain four and we're going to go to the stitches of round 11 so where we already have stitches in. You can see here these three stitches where you have the three um, single crochets front post from last time. Behind these stitches in the same position as where you have the front post we're now going to work a treble also. I'm just going to pull this forward so you can really see. There, that is where we're now going to work a front post treble. So it's the same position as where we already have the front post single. So you're going to work one front post treble there, you're going to work three front post trebles in this center stitch, and then you're going to work one front post treble on the last stitch here. So we're skipping the chain 4 space twice over. So it's behind the single crochets. Make sure you don't want to work in front of them. So it's not like this. It's behind those single crochets. 
like so. Work a front post treble. One, two, three. Then the second stitch here, where you again already have that front post single crochet in there, behind the single crochet, going to do three trebles. All front post, that's one. And these you're going to stack on top of one another and you're just going to move that single crochet there slightly forward you'll feel that your stitches just uh, squish themselves in there so that was one then three and now one again so on that last stitch you do one um, treble and again behind the single crochet. So if you now look at your work, you see those trebles in there. I'm going to skip the chain four space again and then move on to the um, stitches here and that's immediately going to be the start of the next repeat unit. So on the single um, on this half double I mean one two, three half doubles and those three are the same as the three that are here before the treble cluster. So now I would again work a treble cluster, a treble four together here and then again two single crochets. So everything you've just done, this little unit here, you're going to do this eight times, so go all, almost all the way round. When you've done the repeat eight times, you're almost to the end. Just work these last um, trebles behind the front post single crochets. Let's continue on these last stitches here. So skipping the chain four space. Going to work a half double on this first stitch here. Work three half doubles, two, three, around the post again a treble four together, twice over, there we go. So that first one it has of course everything with a front post and then you work in the loop that's to the bottom of the stitch. That's your second leg and legs three and four. You also make in that little loop there to the bottom of the stitch. And one more leg And take them all off like so. Be sure you're not skipping any stitches to the back so immediately on your next stitch you're going to continue and now you still need to do five half double crochets. So this is number one, two, three, Four, and your last one is on that last stitch there. That is number five. And that completes your first row of part three. Row 15, new color yarn on my hook. We're again going to start in the second stitch with a standing half double crochet. And I'm again taking the thread with me from the previous round and working over it. I'm going to work seven. That's two, three, four, five. Still taking that thread with me. Five and six number 
seven. So there are seven half double crochets. I'm now going to work a front post treble around the chain four space. That's twice over. So around the chain four here, I'm going to work a treble. That's a front post treble around that chain four. Now going to skip a stitch to the back. Take your moment to see. We're going to skip one stitch. See there that it's basically the first treble here. The first one here is the one that you're skipping. So you're going to work in that second one there. See how you're skipping that stitch. And now work one, work five half doubles. Two, three, four, and number. Okay, number five. Now again, going to do a front post treble around the other chain four space. So on the other side. That way, you're framing your stitches here. That's a front post. Treble there. Skip a stitch to the back. So again, make sure to skip a stitch. And then work four half doubles. One, two, three, and now you're at the same point as you were here, so the next stitch is again going to be a front post treble around the chain 4 space. So this little unit here, I'm going to do this 8 times in total. When you've done the repeat 8 times, you should have 3 stitches left. On those 3 stitches you're of course also going to work half doubles. You're going to work one on the next two stitches, so one and one, and then on the last stitch here, you're going to work two half doubles in the same stitch. In that last stitch, work two half doubles, so one and two. And that completes row 15. Row 16, again a new color yarn on my hook. And for this row, we're going to start in the first half double, so that first stitch. And we start in there with a standing half double crochet. And that first stitch is always just a little tricky. There we go. And then I've lost the yarn over. Like I said, that first stitch is a little tricky sometimes. So you have to keep your yarn on all your loops. And you have to get your hook into this loop here. Without it coming totally unraveled. So as you can see, I'm having, I don't exactly have enough fingers here. And there we go. Yes. So I've got, still got the yarn over and I'm into that stitch and then make a standing there we go, half double crochet and I'm just going to pull the blue thread because I want that stitch to be nice and tight and there we go so that's the first half double need to make two, so also in the next stitch make a half double I'm taking the blue thread from the previous round, I'm taking that with me. Now we're ready to start the repeat unit. Do a half double crochet on the next two stitches. That's one and two. On the following stitch, which is the stitch that's in your treble cluster here, on this um, 
yeah, do two half doubles. That's one and two. So that's a small increase. Then on the next three stitches, also do a half double. So that's one, two, and three. Like so. We're now going to work front post trebles around the trebles from two rows down, and that's going to be these trebles here. Those there. See that they're slightly hidden maybe by the chain four space, so push them aside if you need to. So these trebles here, one, two, three, four, five, going to work a front post treble around those. So that's twice over. Then around the first one, and especially that first one might be slightly hidden by the chain four space. So that's one. And the second. Two and that is three four and five. Like so. So those five trebles you're basically um colouring your space between the chain four um, spaces, you're, you're coloring that in. You're obviously going to skip five stitches here to the back for these five trebles and then you're also at the end of your repeat unit. So I'll show you the start of the next one again. So skip five stitches, you see this is the last stitch worked, that stitch there, and then skip one, two, three, four, five stitches, then this one here, the um, the front post treble here, that's going to be your next stitch. See, you're just skipping five stitches there. That means now again, the start of the next repeat unit, so you're doing two half doubles. Then an increase, that's again, in the stitch that's into your front post, um, your treble cluster here. One and two, that's your increase, and then work three half doubles. It's one, two, and three, like so. And now again, we need to work these front post trebles on this side exactly the same as those. So I'll show you that once more, and then you need to do all of that eight times. So around the first one, work a front post treble. It's so one, and the second. So you're going to work five of these, and four, like so, and the last one. Yes, like so. And again, skipping five stitches, so your next one is going to be the stitch here in the this front post treble. That's going to be your next stitch. And this is again the first stitch of the next repeat unit. So I've now done the repeat twice with you. You need to do this eight times. Done the repeat eight times. Still have a few stitches left to the end. So on those last stitches, again, of course, you're skipping five stitches to the back. So your next stitch here is this um, front post treble here. Work one half double on that. You're going to work three. It's one, two, three half doubles. And on the next stitch, you work two. One and two. You should have five stitches left, so work a half double on each of those. 
So you'll notice that your increase here is at a slightly different position to these other places. So um, don't be uh, confused about that, that's okay. And that's two, three, four, and the last one on the last stitch, that's number five. And that completes row 16. Row 17, we again start with a standing half double crochet in the first stitch. That's important, it's the first stitch. And as always, this is a little tricky. Those loops, there we go. So in the first stitch, do a standing half double crochet. I'm just going to pull, pull that tight again. And you're going to do this is the first of nine half doubles. So it's two, three, and number nine. There we go. So there are nine half doubles. Now we're going to start the repeat unit. The repeat unit starts with the front post treble around the treble from row 15, and that's going to be this one here to make it treble around that. That's a front post treble. Might have to fold your work just a little bit to get around that stitch properly. Like so. So you're building a frame there. And to skip one stitch and then make a half double on the next three. So the first one you're skipping is going to be this um, this treble here. So you're going to the second one. Three, three half doubles, and then again a front post treble around that treble on the other side. That's going to be the blue one here. I'm also going to work a front post treble around that. Like so. Again, skip a stitch to the back. That's going to be the last of this treble, this last treble you're going to skip here. So you're going to go to the next stitch and work a half double in there. It's going to be that stitch. This is the first of seven. It's one, two, three, four, five. Six and number seven. And there we go. And this is your repeat unit because now you're at the same point where you would now make another front post treble around here. So this is your repeat unit. Continue to do eight of these. When you've done your repeat eight times, you should have three stitches left. And on those three stitches you're going to work a half double. And then you have completed row 17 already. And your bag is really starting to, to take shape. So you can cut your yarn after those last three half doubles. Pull out. And then you've completed this round. Row 18. This row we're starting in the second half double, so not the first but the second, so that's a bit easier than that first stitch. Start in there with the standing half double. I'm just going to pull that a little tight, so that's your first stitch. And that's the first of 11 half doubles. And then we can start our repeat unit. This is number four. We need to work eleven, five, six, ten, and number 
11, like so. This will bring you halfway through this um, this, this space between your two trebles. We're now going to finish the um, coloring this um, this space basically. What we're going to do is we're going to work a treble three together, and we're going to work them over the center three trebles from two rows down from row 16. So the first one, this one, we're going to skip. Then we're going to work on three, two, three, and four. And then number five, that one you're again going to skip. So a treble three together. So that's twice over. And then around that first one, so the front post treble three together. So we work the first leg. Then again, go on the second. Take off, take off. Then again, twice over on the third one. Take off. One, two. You've got four loops on your hook. And take them all off, like so. You do not skip any stitches to the back, so immediately on the next stitch, so immediately on your next stitch, you work a half double, and that's the first of 12. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, number eleven, and number twelve is again going to bring you in the center of this next eye here. So what you've just done, the this um, treble front post treble three together, and the twelve half doubles. That's your repeat unit. You're going to do this eight times, and your last stitch of your last repeat should fall in your last stitch on this side. So do this repeat seven more times. Row nineteen. Get a new color yarn on my hook, and we're going to start with a standing half double crochet in the first stitch, very first stitch this time. Just close that again. So, in your first stitch, start with a half double, and that's the first of 11 again. So that's one. Two, three, ten, and number eleven. So you've done eleven half double crochets. We're now going to do a front post treble two together around this treble, this one here, and that one there. So these two that, that are framing the bit here in the middle. So those two are the ones you're going for. I'm going to do a treble two together, but if you have the feeling that it's too tight, do a treble, um, a double treble two together. I'm going to do twice over, then going into this first one, work a front post in there. But of course, only to your last loop. So, and again twice over and go the other side and pick up a leg on that side. One, two, and with all three loops on your hook, take them off. And that's a treble two together you've worked. I'm going to skip a stitch to the back, and that's actually going to be the treble three together here. That's a stitch you're going to skip. And then you're going to work, see I'm skipping that stitch, that's the treble 
two together or treble three together so then in the next stitch actually I'm skipping two stitches now see these two are very close together See, this is a treble three together and there's a stitch after it this is the stitch you're going for so be mindful because that's all I'm um, kind of behind the stitches where you're currently in so that's the first one of 12 and that should bring you to your next um, eye basically your next peacock eye it's three you see how you've framed this um, this work here and then you're ready and then you're at the end of the repeat so you can do that again so you repeat this the treble two together front post of course then skip a stitch and work 12 half doubles you to do that eight times in total and your last repeat those 12 half doubles will bring you to the last stitch of this round see I've now done 12 and that last stitch falls in the stitch just before again the treble three together here so this is the repeat unit the treble two together and if you find this too tight work a double treble two together then skipping one stitch which is the treble three together this one here then work 12 half doubles do this eight times and hence go all the way round when you've done the front and the back of your bag you've completed part three i want to thank you for watching and i hope to see you again next time